This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures, and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. Hello, everybody. Welcome to what is out this week from Miniature Market 10 13 17. Yes, it's Friday the 13th. So, for this week, what came out? A lot of stuff. It seems there's a every week there's a ton of stuff coming out to our favorite store miniature market gotta love those guys oh to the brotherhood a very cool pirate game you're gonna want to check out um, I've heard good things about it I haven't gotten to it uh, I believe that I'll be having it come in from miniature market and we will be taking a look at it uh, Imperial Salt has an expansion called Heart of the Empire. Now this one really looks pretty good and I think it can add a lot. If you are a fan of Descent you are going to love Imperial Salt because well it's Star Wars and everybody loves Star Wars and with everything coming out with Star Wars lately this will be the one to get. Well they got even more stuff coming out. Jeez, they got Legion coming out. I don't know if that's coming out in the first year or not, but when it comes out, you'll be the first. I'll, I'll tell you when it's in the store, that's for sure. But um, this is one I'm thinking of getting because we're actually thinking of doing an Imperial Salt, uh, painting all our Imperial Salt. And, well, we have it all painted, but uh, we're actually thinking of painting up the expansions real quick for you and, and playing some stuff through. Dead of Winter, Warring Colonies. Now, if you're a fan of Dead of Winter, this is a very good expansion. I've heard nothing but good things about it from people that have played it at Gen Con. Uh, I saw it there. Um, we have Dead of Winter. I just haven't played it yet with, with uh, my peeps, but it may be coming soon, sooner than you think. Dungeon Hustle, a nice little game. I definitely want to check this out. You have to... Uh, try to get riches and stuff like that, but you the, You're busy getting riches and things like that But there's monsters in there and you were hired to get rid of the monsters And if, you, if too many monsters escape, well guess what you lose the game looks pretty interesting something I want to try out Ash rise of the Phoenix has a couple expansions some more decks for it. Um, this is a really good game it, I have it. I haven't played it yet I've been meaning to play it and as the expansions pile up I'm getting more and more interested in it because it hasn't fell off the face of the earth yet so uh, you know I was kind of worried that this would be a two type of expansion thing and that's the end of it but it seems to have some life so uh, it, I think it's worth checking out Raxin. Now here's a game that I've been really confused over uh, from when I first heard about it. It was something that if you got it, you could mail it ahead to somebody else and somebody else could... Obviously they want you to do the virus thing. It was a marketing tool in some ways. And of course people bought into it. Is the game good? It's, 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 it's a game about viruses and how they spread and how you have to have to prevent it. You're a pharmaceutical company and Raxon, it just reminds me of the old comic books, Raxon, you know, from Avengers 1, let's see if I can name this right, from 141 to 149, that was kind of a long storyline because Squadron Supreme was sandwiched in there, it was the first time George Perez uh, started drawing the Avengers in there, and then there was the big fight with the Orca, Thor versus Orca, so we're talking about comic books, alright, let's move on. Uh, next, Eons N, second edition. Now, I, I had the first edition. Somebody really needed it that didn't have money, so I ended up sending it to them. We try to do charitable things here. I may pick up the second edition and check it out. I don't know. We'll have to see. Farlight, something I really didn't know too much about. You guys may want to check it out. You guys probably know more about it than I do. Uh, listen, I'm not going to sell you on something I don't know anything about, but Farlight came out for those of you that are interested. It just didn't catch my interest. What can I tell you? Warhammer came out with a huge amount of Plague Marines. <coughs> you have to have Plague Marines. Uh, we got all those really cool Marines. And you want to get those Plague Marines and you want to start building things up because I'm telling you right now, it's going to be real cool, especially when I get my city board put together. Um, we're going to be doing some Plague Marines and Space Marines. And Janice could be the Plague Marines because she's really short and it's like she caught the plague or something. Yeah. 
Edge of Humanity, I played this at Gen Con. I have a copy of it. I enjoyed this. I had a good time. I played with Sam and Mark Street. We had a good time. We did a video. You can find it over on the Dice Tower. Uh, you can check it out right there. And I was, it, it, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. And we really enjoyed it. We had a good time. And if you saw the video, I think you saw that we really did have a good time. Now, my pick of the week this week is something that's going to have to do with uh, Miniatures 101. Now, first of all, let me just say before I announce what my pick of the week is, um, Pathfinder came out with a bunch of miniatures, and there was some War Machine. I don't collect either of those. Um, the Pathfinder ones look cool. If you want to paint those up, those are really nice. But my pick of the week is the Reaper Halloween miniatures okay they're only a couple of bucks a piece and I suggest you pick some up because I'm gonna get some in and we are going at the end of the month where I'm going to do some painting skills from my painting 101 with those miniatures those miniatures look really cool and they look fun to paint they're big not not big as in size but they have big features and that's the best way to really start off with, with something with big features something easy to gain confidence and you're, it'd be nice to put to have a nice painted figure that you could put up in your office or at work you can have them lined up and they go wow who did that and you say well I painted those and they can say wow can you paint all my stuff for me and you say no no I'm not doing, no I'm not doing it I'm not doing it I'm painting my own stuff first see that's the way you're supposed to be I can't do that though but nevertheless those Reaper miniatures you can see there's all kinds of different ones I saw the ghost I saw the skeleton which I thought would be a lot of fun for us to do so I'm going to get a couple of those I'm going to get them sent here and then we're going to go through that for our Halloween week we're going to be painting on paint, uh, painting 101, and I think you're really going to enjoy it. So it's something that you guys can watch, and you can see some of the techniques that we are kind of gradually, kind of, it's kind of like the wax on, wax off thing that I'm doing. That's exactly what I'm doing with this series. Wax on, wax off. Well, why am I waxing your car, Rob? Well, because watch. Here's a miniature. Oh, I get it. <laughs> Well, there you go. Miniature Market has great things at great prices, great company, great people, my friends forever. Miniature Market, go there, check out what they got, tell them Rob sent you, and most of all, as always, thanks for watching this, and that's this week from Miniature Market.